Hey YouTube, um, this is an ocarina update on some ocarinas that I have made. Um, I actually made this one. It's a bigger one, and the it doesn't look that great because of the mouthpiece. But um, it sounds pretty good, and it's lower than most of my other ones. And yeah, here's this one. I don't have any holes yet because I don't really know how to tune and I don't have access to a kiln for a while. So, yeah. Um, I actually made this one yesterday, last night. I was using a different method of making it. I actually, um, I don't have any holes in this one either, as you can see. But, and the sound hole doesn't look that great, but I think the ocarina itself looks amazing. Um, I don't know how to tune it, like I said, so, yeah. Um, I actually followed the way that um, Schwessi uses on YouTube, except not quite all the way. Like, I made a square thing instead of a circle um, sound hole. And I cut it in half like that, but didn't make any holes. And I made the sound hole after I had already put it back together. And I had made, and I stuck the thing in after I put it back together too. So I just um, put it back together and stuff, and then stuck the my mouse piece maker thing in and then I took a knife and just kind of met it down pulled it out and got that square out and then made the sharp part even with the thing so yeah here's this one it's I have to blow harder because it's kind of a big sound hole but I think it sounds pretty good and yeah, so this is kind of a short video, so yeah, uh, yeah, see ya.